Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be going over the Wetlands pack uh, first two days of animal reveals. So it looks like for once we are not getting any pulls or anything, we are just going to be going over the animals directly. Now that being said, I don't even think we needed a pull because it looks like they're doing the standard pattern that we usually get where... Uh, day one, we got the Capybara! Very beautiful animal. We get to see the adorable little babies. But let's face it, this is always the, you know, case. The standard animal that they showcase a bunch is always the one that they decide that day one is going to be the day that we show off the same animal. So we get a closer look at the capybara, which, let's face it, we don't really need it. We've seen, like, a bunch of photos of it. But it still looks good. So um, as you can see here, it looks like we have, uh, you know, an adult. It looks like maybe the female, if this is a female, I'm not really sure. It might be the case where the female doesn't have, like, the little black bump, but the male does. Um, which I'd kind of like, because I don't always like how pronounced the black bump was on some of the capybaras that they showed in other things. Can't really tell. It still could be there, but, you know, it's, it's tougher to tell in this image. But the babies look really adorable. So, the babies look very, very cute. We got a bunch of color variation, which we did kind of notice with a lot of the original trailer footage and stuff. The capybara is going to seemingly have a lot of color variation, so that's really exciting. So, you can see it right here, become masters of self-care with the help of our Wetlands Animal Pack stars, starring, starring with the fan favorite, the Capybara. Did you know that Capybara soak in baths to keep their skin hydrated, giving them a glow complexion? Grab a bath bomb and indulge yourself too. Yes, we did all know that Capybaras take baths. I'm pretty sure, you know, that's the main thing. So, um, I'm not sure if this is a... If this is the hot spring deal in general, like you can see the capybara, which let's face it, isn't a very large animal by any metric, is uh, about ankle deep in water. So I don't know if that's, you know, that's obviously possible with the base game water system. But I am wondering if that was maybe like using that new level water um, setup that they had from the, uh, the teasers and stuff for the 1.9 update. But let's face it, you've seen enough of the capybara. What we want to really talk about today is the big boy the red crown crane and it looks like a red crown crane i'm not gonna lie it looks really good it kind of like this is an example where i was like i don't know what i was expecting but it looks like a red crown crane it looks pretty good it looks kind of like like bongo's mod was already really really good so like that's why i guess i i was expecting like even crazier uh and it's a little better like the beak is better than bongo's mod and stuff but like it's, it's pretty good it's it looks like a red, red crown crane and so i'm excited like obviously red crown crane's a very very cool bird it's going to be really really good for modders and yeah i mean there's not too much to say it's a, it's a good looking photo you can see it standing and swimming so you know it's pretty cool it's kind of cool how they like actually like uh, got the curve to like blend in really well and you can also see the mist effect they, they're kind of advertising a lot so the mist effect looks pretty cool um you can see the I, I wish this is the only thing I don't like about the particle systems in game and this is just in general it's just the stupid little like nozzle that they come out of but um yeah the red crown crane looks very very good so I'm very excited to get these guys in Roger Williams in Caprin uh, any other zoos that I'm working on, it's going to be really good. Also, fun fact, Red Crown Crane. Another animal that was actually, like, hinted at with the, the, the way, ba way, way back in the day, the, like, sign theory. Because it's one of the only animals that had a sign of it that isn't already in the game. So, that's kind of a fun fact about the Red Crown Crane. So, let's read what uh, a little bit more. So, the Red Crown Crane are known to dance for many reasons, including as part of their mating ritual. But also just for fun. Dancing is great exercise. Why not shaking your tail feathers, too? So, cool. That is the Red Crown Crane. So, I guess the uh, the last bit of, you know, this video that I want to talk about is just, uh, you know, early, um, we let the dust settle, you know what I mean? We can kind of breathe a little bit. How are people uh, interpreting the pack overall? So, I made my video and I called it divisive. And some people didn't even like the word divisive, because they're like, who, who even declares that? Do you declare that? I didn't think it was divisive, but you know what? I, I kind of stand by my point. It's a very divisive pack, because from what I have seen in the community, people either love this pack more than any pack ever, or they hate this pack. And I will stand by that. 
most packs you can usually say that there was like oh it's not my cup of tea but it's still cool animals or i'm not a scenery person but like you know i get why it, people like it i get the animal this pack in particular it's been very controversial I've, i'd say because while it seems like the majority of people are definitely erring on the side of they love this pack i definitely have seen the people that dislike it really dislike it so that is definitely kind of a an interesting take and i think what it does is it kind of introduces a, a precedent that i don't think we've really seen before so what i found and this is why i don't entirely like the idea of how they did this biome pack not saying that future biome packs are going to be like this but it appears to me like they basically had really requested animals like the platypus capybara asian small clawed otter right those animals were were really popular and they were trying to figure out how they could put them in a pack that made sense together so what they did is they came up with wetlands as a thing that ties all of those really popular animals together and then once they justified the animal or justified the pack they had to justify the pack by adding more animals that fit the theme better that necessarily weren't going to be in the game otherwise. So, as an example, the Asian Water Buffalo and Nile Lechwe and Spectacled Cayman, I am like 95% positive if this was not a Wetlands pack, we would never have seen them in Planet Zoo. That is my that is my theory going forward when it comes to the biome packs. So as an example, if we go in the future looking at like a, a desert pack, right? I'm not seeing too many people talk about like a roadrunner, for instance, right? That's an animal that not many people are asking. And now I'm gonna get a bunch of comments like, I always wanted a roadrunner. <laughs> but uh, give or take, not many people would want a roadrunner. But it would be an animal that would make sense if they did a desert pack. So I'm kind of thinking that could be a thing to look into the future about is it's very very unlikely that any future biome packs whether they be tropical desert grassland whatever are going to be filled with only the most wanted animals so some of them might be stuff that well cool animals because let's say animals are just cool in general like all animals there are going to be some that are definitely going to be kind of bizarre picks so I'm going to just kind of like assume that's going to be a thing going forward to not get not get so ridiculously excited about like, oh, if we get a tropical pack, we're going to get only the greatest tropical animals. We might get one or two that are like, oh, that's a that's a bit odd. But I mean, I guess it, it is in the rainforest. And so that's kind of my uh, idea for, you know, going forward. But thank you all for watching today's video. Like, like I said, definitely like, comment and subscribe if you like the channel. And every few days I'm going to be kind of going over any new animals that we see. So definitely looking forward to seeing the Lechwe in action. Since that I think is the only other one that we really haven't seen. Uh, Lechwe and the uh, Asco, the Asian small clawed otter. So definitely going to be excited about them. But until the and the spectacle came and forgot about that one. I always keep forgetting that even it is in this pack. So <laughs> thank you all for watching today's video and I will see you next time.